Hi, it's Mark Sheridan. In our November Zoom call for the True North Caricature Carvers, Ferda Sarani uh, talked to us about sharpening and some work that he did on a belt sander to turn it into a honing machine. So here's his presentation. I hope you enjoy it. My, this is one of my go-to knives that I kind of use. This is an OCC tool, uh, two and a quarter inch um, uh, oak handle knife, and I use this all the time. So recently, I noticed that um, this knife has become kind of dull. I I regularly strop it. I use um, I have ordered like one of the in the past a heavy uh, strop, so I use that. It's a manual strop, but I've been I've been very like diligently stropping it to make sure it doesn't get dull. But still, after a year and a half uh, of usage. I noticed that it was becoming dull and also about quarter inch from the top, I had noticed that there was a very, very minor nick in it. So I wanted to learn how to how to sharpen it. So doing a lot of online research and stuff. I was communicating back and forth with Mark as well, uh, getting his advice. And uh, finally, I decided to go with these uh, die sharp uh, diamond uh, stones. So I got these two stones uh, on the left hand side. You, the stone that you see, it's a, it's a fine stone, and on the right hand side, uh, it's a it's a extra fine stone. This is how it it comes in the package. Uh, the next slide you will see uh, the actual stones, how they look. So uh, the, the 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 size of these stones um, is three inch wide by ten inches long. Um, the grit on these, um, the fine stone is 600 grit and on the extra fine it's 1200 grit. So what I did was uh, this, this knife that I was having a problem with, I just kind of stroked it back and forth. I didn't, uh, I was, what I was doing is was kind of uh, just doing it equally on both sides. So probably I started with about 20 strokes on each side. I kind of uh, did it the same way I, I would strop on a, a leather strop. And I did 20 on the fine and then uh, on each side. And then I moved on to the extra fine. And what I was doing is that after um, uh, kind of stroking uh, back and forth on these stones, I was kind of looking at the edge and seeing how it looks. Uh, I was kind of noticing that it was removing uh, some, iron, uh, some iron, the metal. Uh, these stones can be used uh, either wet or dry. So I use it dry. And, um, it, it, and I was kind of also, before putting it on a leather strop, I was kind of carving it a little bit to, to check the sharpness. Uh, and I did notice that the nick was kind of almost gone. So what I did was um, the next slide, you will see that I, I bought a belt sander uh, to put a leather belt on it. So this is, uh, this, is a, this, uh, this, this is a King Canada one by 30 inch belt sander that I bought. Uh, its model is KC702C. Basically it's a five inch belt uh, disc sander also. So the other side, you can see that there's a disc sander. Um, but when I originally bought this bell sander, I was, I wanted to give it a try. So I didn't want to put my, uh, the OC3 tool, uh, knife on it. So what I did was I had some kitchen knife. So I put, uh, an 800 grit one by 30 inch belt, sanding belt on it. The, the machine came with the 80 grit uh, belt. So I took that out and I put the one by 30 inch uh, belt on it. And I, I kind of sharpened some knives. And, but when I was doing that, uh, I noticed that the belt was kind of shifting about one eighth inch on the left hand side. So I said, probably it's something. And I've tried, there's, there's a, uh, on the next slide, you will see that there's a, on the back, you can see there's a tracking. That's where it is. There's a tracking, and that what that tracking does is that if you kind of uh, move it left and right, the belt 
would move back and forth. So it kind of makes sure uh, that that the belt is, stays on on the on the on the wheels. If you go to the next slide, Mark, please. So, so these are the three wheels. Like one is attached to the to the motor, and the other two two wheels are kind of also keeping the whole thing together. Um, so what happened was that uh, as soon as I put the leather belt on it, the belt was okay for the first couple of uh, knives, but then it started slipping off, and I tried to adjust the tracking, but that did not help. And uh, the way the tracking was, it was pretty tight. And even with uh, moving it back and forth, it was not helping much. And I tried a lot, couldn't figure it out. I was also talking to Mike and uh, Mark, and he gave me some advice and I tried that. But one of the things that uh, Mark also advised that uh, leave, the, leave the 800 grit uh, sanding belt on and put the uh, leather, leather belt on top of that, that would kind of hold it. I, and I tried that, but the problem was that uh, the be leather belt is pretty thick. So with the sanding belt and on top the leather belt, there was not enough room on the top wheel and it was hitting kind of the casing of this belt sander, so it didn't work. So what I did was I reached out to a colleague of mine and he is a pretty hands-on hands -on guy. And uh, he said, okay, bring it in and uh, I'll have a look. And he was able to fix it, um, make some adjustments. I'll talk about that in a, in a moment. But uh, once he made some adjustments to the belt sander, um, I did uh, put the leather uh, belt on and it works perfectly fine. So what I also did was I thought that uh, maybe the belt became loose. So I went back to Lee Valley and uh, the, because that's from there I built, bought the belt from. And I requested them and they said, yeah, we can we can change it for you. So they, they, they replaced the belt for me. And even after putting the new belt, that was not helping me. But once it got fixed, uh, my colleague fixed it, it works really nice. So, um, so after, uh, going like uh, stroking the knife on the uh, the stones, and I was able to strop it, and the sharpness came back really, really nicely, and I'm really happy with that. The only thing about this belt sander is that the rotation is towards you, so you have to kind of be careful on uh, on when you are uh, how you put the knife on it. I've seen uh, Gene Messer also on his YouTube video, what he does is he kind of flips the bell sander so the rotation kind of goes the other way. So you can you can do it that way as well. So talking about the modifications, so what I also notice as is that the the wheel that's attached to the shaft uh, of the motor, it was about quarter inch outside than the other top two wheels. Uh, they were not aligned properly. So what uh, when the machine was kind of running, uh, the belt sander was running, it was pulling the belt out. So what my uh, colleague had to do is he had to remove this wheel and he had to kind of grind the, the, the backside of the wheel to, to make it a little bit thinner so the wheel can get pushed inside to align with the top two wheels. Um, the other thing he also did was there's a spacer uh, uh, where the shaft is coming from the motor and, and going into the wheel. So he had to kind of grind off a quarter inch of that spacer. So then that uh, bottom wheel can be pushed in. Uh, the other wheel, which is attached to the tracking, um, that wheel, yeah, this one, uh, there was a there was an original pin on it and that kind of pin was very flimsy. So, it was kind of uh, not keeping the wheel straight and it was kind of wobbling back and forth. So he had to kind of uh, put a, a more uh, thicker pin on it to, to kind of stable the wheel when it was uh, rotating. Uh, Mike, uh, Mark, if you please go to the next slide. Yeah, so this, this tracking that you see over here, uh, he had to also kind of uh, make the, uh, there's a, this, long bolt that's extending through these two 
uh, pieces of metal. He had to make the hole a little bit bigger because there was a lot of tension on it. And uh, even with rotating the this uh, this uh, uh, screw, or uh, it was not uh, giving much movement. So he had to make some adjustments to that. Uh, once that was done, it, it just works perfectly now. And I'm very happy with uh, the results. So, you know, it, it came out really well.